Is that a dog? Is that a parachuting corgi? Oh my god, he's adorable! Well, clearly we're gonna have to go kill that if I can ever regain control of myself! What's up guys, welcome back to Deer Simulator. The only game to provide a true, accurate experience of living life as a deer. The number one priority for a deer is to survive. So I'm gonna do my very best to hypnotize this hunter with the dance of intimidation. And then once he's nice and sedated, very calm, I'm gonna walk up to him slowly, peacefully, and I'm gonna grab him by the dick and parade him through the city to send a message to all the other hunters. This is deer territory, fool! Get the message! Every square inch of this place belongs to me. Including Avengers Island. Is this new? I mean, we always had the space whales, but I don't remember ever seeing this. My friend ever come back down after? Where did he go? You know when something really crazy happens and people will sometimes be like, Dear Jesus! They're actually referring to Dear Jesus. He can walk on water, turn water into wine, zombie reanimation, I don't know, it doesn't have anything to do with water, but just typical Jesus stuff. What? Unlocked at Dear Zaster, level A. Oh. Okay, so they've upgraded the amount of trouble that I can cause in town. That's good to know. I'm happy I sent that message to all the hunters early on. He's back! How was your trip to the moon? I hope you're doing better than before. Why exactly can... Oh! I was going to apologize for parading you through town by your dick, but I, I may have turned it into an innie instead of an Audi. Well, if I'm going to start causing trouble to raise my dear Zaster level, then I should probably go ahead and arm myself. <laughs> God knows the police will not understand how absolutely majestic I am. Jesus, dude. Don't sneak up on someone like that. I, I know you're wearing your safety orange, but you never know if I'm just gonna fire wildly around me and, and maybe I accidentally hit you in the head like eight times. Oops. I swear there's nothing good to watch anymore. Why would anybody pay hundreds of dollars a month for this? Nonetheless, turn their head into it. You'd swear the DeviantArt is just hosting a cable TV show. Yo, screw it, I'm gonna blow this entire city up. You might want to take two big steps forward, sir. Otherwise, you're gonna have some toasty buns. Oh, of course. Yeah, a, a giant explosion in the city center is gonna trigger the police. I don't suppose we're gonna have the jello sheep coming after us should be easy enough. I usually mow these guys down so quickly that I don't even know what they do. Like, other than slowly gyrate at you, what exact- Oh! They've got batons. Oh, okay. That just makes the scattering of heavy semi-automatic weapons around town all the more irresponsible. <laughs> this is really your fault. You could have easily overcome this. <gasps> all right, the cops have been defeated. At least some of them have been. We're now Deer Zaster level D. We gotta get up to A if the Avengers are gonna take us seriously, so I suppose we just keep shooting residential buildings until we get their attention. Makes sense, right? Am I the villain? I always gotta wonder. When I'm ever playing these games and just having fun, you always gotta ask yourself, am I... Am I the bad guy or am I maybe... Just roadkill? Listen, you guys asked for this, okay? I I was just trying to cross the road peacefully! Of course they would send the cars out. Okay, yeah, well, you know what? I should be more than equipped for you. Oh, we got uh, AKs, we got grenades. <laughs> yup, send out your polar police. Well, it's not exactly a high speed chase. Like, I'm just kind of tippy-toeing down the road. It's so uneventful that they stop playing their crazy music. Okay, well, I guess I could just get rid of you guys. Move on to the next level. Easy enough, I suppose. I actually need to be careful with what I blow up and what I spare, because I'm not 100% sure what's new or what I might need later. Oh, I remember YouTube's demonetization building. 
do you think if I go inside, I might be able to explain to somebody that hobbits aren't real, so you can't discriminate against them as a minority? Or that killing somebody in a text simulation game isn't the same as actual assault? No, probably not. Okay, well then I guess we'll just go ahead and do this now, because why waste anybody's time? <gasps> Face me, Avengers, you cowards! Okay, the grenades hurt me too. Um, yeah, keep your feet on the ground, please. Uh, Houston, we have a problem again. I can't stop shooting, I can't control anything, and the developers of the game are mad at me. Okay, I'll, I'll just blow you up and then head back this way, maybe? Are we pointed towards land yet? <laughs> I'm gaining a lot of speed. Hey, there we go. I didn't think we were gonna recover that there. <laughs> how many buildings does it take? I don't understand how these police have a destruction quota. Like, oh, only two apartments fell today? Really just cannot cut our lunch break short. But you know, if the, if the third goes down, then just, Send the rabbit out. I'm sure him and his laser cannon will take care of whatever's happening. I could really use a laser cannon. Okay, that was much quicker than I had expected. <laughs> Thank you. May the destruction continue. So we're on disaster level B. I think this is as far as we've ever gotten. But now it's, it's not telling me that it's over, so we should be able to keep going, get to A, and then hopefully unlock Avengers Island. I can't get up. I think every bone in my body is broken. <laughs> oh, that's not good. I don't want to be part of the sidewalk. Oh, uh, no, hmm. What do we have here? Uh, is that a dog? Is that a parachuting corgi? Oh my god, he's adorable! Well, clearly we're gonna have to go kill that if I can ever regain control of myself! Uh, okay, work, work in progress! Work in progress! Oh! He just randomly snaps out of it! Awesome! Okay, so now we can head over to the island and see exactly what that was. It was a giant corgi, right? I'm not losing my mind. Hello there, doggy-san. I may have gunned down all other police, but for you, we will have honorable battle. You have definitely earned my respect, so long as you don't do anything weird. Okay. Calling for reinforcements isn't exactly an honorable battle, but I, I could forgive it. So long as you don't form some kind of crazy animal Voltron. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Doggo! Okay, yeah, you know what? You could take your honorable battle and shove it right up your fluffy butt. I'm gonna shoot you for sure. I'm laying waste to his gigantic taint, but it's not doing anything. Oh. Oh, maybe it did do something. Oh, he's got weak spots. My grenades are hitting his feet. Okay, well, we can shoot him in the feet and we can shoot him in the shoulders. Good to know. Maybe the armpits? I don't know, I'm not exactly some kind of weird animal mech expert. Holy crap. Yes, these grenades are finally doing something other than screwing me for once. You stay down and you stay out of this weird space whale. This is none of your damn business. I don't want to get cocky here, but I think I might have broken him. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, spoke a little too soon. Let's just run it out. I think I've hit him enough that he's got giant red buttons. Scratch that, giant red deer buttons on his shoulders. So maybe I can get him to bend over real quick and see what they do, a little something like uh, this. <gasps> oh yeah, that's the good stuff. You didn't need that arm, did you? <laughs> now we're getting somewhere, oh. Uh, oh, wait, I can, I can run up this? There's no way I can run, I can kind of run up, I can't really run up that. Very kind of you to put giant arrows on your arm, doggy, but I am not nearly that coordinated. I'll just keep shooting your giant cheapy feet. There we go, that's the good stuff. And then I can do a little something like this. Boop. 
Oh, oh, I don't like the fact that he kind of whines in pain and chases his tail. Ow, ow, okay, no, no, he's not cute. He's dangerous, he's dangerous. We've fought the entire day away. He's destroyed a lot of the arena. I've destroyed a lot of him. And now he's just kind of, I don't really know what he's doing. Oh, now I'm doing damage. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, I'm sorry, Poochie. Oh, your big police hat. <laughs> Forgive me. Is he? He's fine. He's just napping, I'm sure. <laughs> right? Yeah, everything's all right. Uh, how about we blame it on this guy? That seems like a pretty decent idea, right? Just get him to come over here. Come on. There we go. Now, I, I just run away and... Hopefully call the police. I mean, who are you gonna believe, me or him? Didn't think that was gonna be an insta-kill. Well, now there's only one person to blame. You really gotta take a second and wonder why the police sheep aren't nearly as well armed as the police parking lot. <laughs> like, they just kinda store their weapons out here, unguarded. Fully loaded? I mean, it makes my job a whole lot easier. I don't need to blow up buildings to get them. I'm still gonna blow up buildings, though, because I wanna do that again, except for this time. I wanna see what would happen if we made gods face off against one another. If I pissed off the skyscraper koala and then got him to fire his laser at the dog, what would happen? Now that I think about it, I don't even need these weapons. I can fight on an even playing ground. I've got my own weird animal mech right over here. It's not nearly as big, but it's a whole lot more dangerous. I would imagine this is gonna get the police's attention pretty quickly. You know what, full credit to these Jello sheep. They really charge into battle bravely. I could probably just step on them all. Oh, okay, listen, I'm gonna make sure you guys have lovely funerals. You deserve the very best. And here comes the rabbit. I might need to be careful. I think that cannon can actually wreck my mech. Well, I was gonna show you guys the epic fight between Officer Laser Rabbit and the giant zoo mech, but I think he got hit by a car on the way. <laughs> I didn't do anything, I swear. Trust me, I'm more than happy to admit to whatever I do. Let's see if we can get ourselves a corgi real quick. How many buildings does it take exactly? A lot? Yeah, I gotta like level half this city before they're willing to call in the big guns. I guess it's not every day you could just call in an animal Megazord. This thing is probably crazy expensive, you know, to feed. Oh, here he comes again. I just, I love him so much. His stupid smile, his dumb face, his fuzzy bum. The fact that he's shaped like a giant bread loaf. What's with the A? The dog? And doggo, yet there's an A. I still think I'm missing something. <laughs> Let's see if we can piss off this koala. Probably don't want to do it from here, and I'm gonna make sure we move fast enough. The last thing I want is to get lasered by him. Well, first things first, let's go ahead and get some revenge on you. Oh, that feels sweet. <laughs> now, how am I gonna pull this off? Because I get the feeling he might just take us out from this distance. Try to piss him off from here. Can I not hit him from here, really? Come on. Come on, you you know you want it. There he is. Okay, now would be the time to move faster. Move just a li little faster. A little, little faster. Hey, we gotta go. We gotta go over towards the freaking dog. Okay, I, I might need to just, I might need to run. Do you really need to rub it in? That's rude. I was kind of hoping we'd be able to lure him out into the city so he could fight the koala. Okay, that's not my fault. That's irresponsible flying. I think the mech might be too slow. Maybe I could just shoot you from here, piss you off, and then leg it. Just, just run, just run for it. I don't need weapons, screw your weapons. Get in, get in, get in, get high. You go ahead and do your lovely little transformation again because I can't get enough of it. <laughs> it's just the weirdest thing. Like, I, honestly, who thought, okay, we're gonna connect the corgi to the rabbit's taint, then we're gonna make the jello sheep into feet, 
and then the polar bear police officer cars will make great arms. There you go. You see, you've got a monstrosity. God would be disappointed in you. Now, how is that laser coming? All right. There wasn't much I could do there. You guys are really not going to fight each other, are you? You can't turn the kaiju against one another. You're just going to go ahead and, and stomp on my corpse. Okay, then. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Deer Simulator, guys. The reason I've returned to this so soon after there was an update was because you guys have really been supporting the other videos. And I got to say, there's some of the funniest videos I've made in a very long time. So I want to return for more. As soon as they update it again, if you guys leave support on this video, I will return. So as always, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment letting me know. And honestly, what could be the next stage? What comes after giant animal mech? But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.